The policeman says there's been some robberies in your neighborhood and asks if you have any information. Our ministers of law enforcement are only here to protect us. <laughs> like bizarro Jeopardy. Bizarro black Jeopardy answer. I love that guy. This man, Keenan, he's about to explode. <laughs> it's like, not exactly, homeboy. <laughs> no. Tonight's foolishness is brought to us by DTMerch.com. And before we even say anything about DTMerch.com, I want to show you right here. I almost put this on today, but I was wearing my stylish, artistic <laughs> $105 torn up shirt. Your hand me down clothes? My yeah. hand me down <laughs> from the hand me down <laughs> shitty collection. And, but we do have the black cotton tee with the white logo. I'm not wearing it today because. I cannot look as good in this as one of our supporters, cosplayer, famous cosplayer, Kayla Aaron. And Kayla oh. has not only put on a nice double toasted shirt that looks amazing on her, but she loves what we do over here at Double Toasted. Why don't take my word for it? Listen to the girl herself. A little shout out to Double Toasted because you are my favorite YouTube channel. Like you're hilarious, you get good quality content, and you just. Just good shit, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, if you don't subscribe to them, please check them out. Seriously, they're amazing. And love that girl. Wow. i tell you what. tell you what. That girl right there, she's so cute. A little giggles and everything, but she even looks even cuter. And that double toast. Yes, she shirt. does. And I'm sure you do, too. So go over to DT Merch and check out all of the items that we have over there, including that black cotton tee with the white logo, we got one with a color logo on there. Jerseys, caps, beanies, backpacks, phone covers. You can send an email, a call, or Skype in and join us right here by subscribing in many forms. But what I would do is I would use uh, that Amazon account that you're sitting on. I mean, you use it for a lot of things, but yes, right. You use it to become a subscriber here now. Uh, we have an Amazon pay button. Put those two things together. Enter your username, your password. Press in. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Shit! What's going on? I've never had these feelings before, Corey. What's happening? Hey, don't panic. It's just that toasted goodness all over your body right now. Hey, Danielle, double toast. What you doing tonight? What you doing what you today? Doing tonight? <laughs> oh, you know something? Uh, listen, you, you can probably relate to this. I, now, I, let me ask you. Do you watch Saturday Night Live, Danielle? Of course. And I have nothing against it. I'm not one of those people who talks shit about Saturday Night Live and our hate watches it or whatever. I, I don't watch it that much anymore, but there's one segment on there that I love, man, and it's Black Jeopardy. I, <laughs> I fell in love with Black Jeopardy. The first, <laughs> so good. It is, isn't it great? Mm. I love Black Jeopardy because uh, the, the first time I saw it, they get these guests on, so it's a whole segment with black people, black contestants, a black host, and then they usually bring on one white person to kind of stand out. And I fell in love with this, this this segment, this sketch, when they had Tom Hanks on, who was like, uh, he was a, a Trump-loving white dude who somehow jailed with the rest of the black cast. The mechanic says you owe $250 for new brake lines. Doug, well, what is, you better go to that dude in my neighborhood who'll fix anything for $40. Well, you all right, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> he got on that Make America Great Again hat. <laughs> he was, but the, the, by the end of it, he's like, well, shit, I got more in common with these black folks up here. It's a, it's, a, it's a funny segment, man, and whenever it comes on, it never fails to make me laugh, which mm. is why I felt kind of bad, man. Somebody, somebody came out and tried to put me in the corner what? Over, black, over Black Jeopardy, man. What happened? I'm not going to say who it is, but it was someone that came in and told me that, you know something, uh, yeah, Corey, go ahead and yuck it up with this segment right here, but you as a black man, I don't, I don't know how you can still do that. And I, I was like, well, I think I know where you're going with this, but what? What, what's going on? Yeah, it was, it was kind of weird. And, and I, but then I understood what they were talking about because they said, yeah, man, you see, the thing, <clears throat> the thing with Black Jeopardy is that if you notice, all the questions and the way the, the, the sketch is structured is all about, well, let's just cut to the chase here. It's all about black foolishness. Mm. It's all typical jokes about, you know, black people having bad credit, can't pay the bills. Some people even go as far as to say, you know, just kind of trifling. I, 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 I kind of brushed it off at first because uh, the thing with it is that, first of all, I saw where they were coming from, so I didn't give them too much argument. I mean, the moment that you 
you get to the segment right from the beginning, they let you know, yeah, that's exactly what this is all about. We ain't paying our bills. Are we paying in installments? This is Black Jeopardy. Welcome to Black Jeopardy, the only Jeopardy where our prize money is paid in installments. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm laughing, but now I kind of feel bad about it. You know, the dude put me on a guilt trip that I talked to. And let me tell you something, man. I, I, I brushed it off at first because I said I can kind of relate to it because for other people out there, Danielle, white people, <laughs> no offense, Eric, you know what I'm saying? Though, it's like other white people and they watch it. It's just a sketch. But black people, we can, we can watch Black Jeopardy right here and we can watch it like it's a real game show. Right. <laughs> you know, the, you, the first question that they asked on here, I answered it, and I got it right. Yes. Okay, let's go to all hell now for a hundred. Okay, the answer there, your barber has a two-hour wait, but he says there's an empty chair up front. Now, let me stop there. Yep. Every, I don't know about all the women, but, and I'm sure you could because you go to those salons, but every black dude grew up in a barbershop, <laughs> so we know. We know what that means, and uh, I didn't give exactly this answer, but it was very close. Mm -hmm. What is all oh, hell no? There's a reason your chair empty. You're damn right. <laughs> You're damn right, man. You can end up looking like the weekend. You can. <laughs> <laughs> Every black dude has been to a barbershop, if that chair has been empty for more than 15 minutes, you don't go to right. because yep. they are fucking up heads. <laughs> that yep. dude is either new. They, either, they brand, either they brand new or they screwing up people. They yeah. either brand new or they screwing up people or they old. And them, yeah. you know, they can't, they, they can't hold them clippers no more. <laughs> <You know? laughs> that or they're gonna, oh, they're gonna hold them clippers forever and talk to everybody else except cut your hair. <laughs> oh, that's every black barber, man. You know, you go to, <laughs> you go to a black barber, you gonna be waiting about three hours because every minute they got some gossip <laughs> about yep. someone. I don't. I told you, I'm. Uh, I go to black barbers when I'm on vacation. Even if I'm not, then I go to white people because I'm busy. You know, they, they get me in and out. If I go to a black barber, I, I, I got about a few hours. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got, you got to book, book some time for that. Come back to next week and all that crap. <laughs> to get it finished up. Because let me on it. Yeah, sit down, boy. <laughs> hey, you hear about Leroy? <laughs> exactly. Oh, <laughs> Come man. Come on, man. <laughs> and then they're going to use your, your, all your, your head as a resting place and everything. Like, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, run, run, run. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. <laughs> you know, they watching the game. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, Mr. Johnson, I've been here an hour already. You just <laughs> you just cut a line in my head. Come on, man. <laughs> I just want to edge up. Every black dude knows that answer right there. So I, you were playing Black Jeopardy like it's, a re like it's really Jeopardy. Mm. So I kind of brushed it off. But then the thing that happened here is that they brought on Black Panther. Mm -hmm. You know, Chad with Chad <clears throat> Bozeman. No, he's Black Panther to everybody now. Mm -hmm. And when they brought him on, you know, the whole thing with him is that, and, and let me see right here, because he came on as the character of, you can see him right there at the end. Mm -hmm. You see him, the, the name written right there, T'Challa, the king of Wakanda, the Black Panther himself. And Black Panther. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, and here's the thing. Uh, until they had, until they had Black Panther come on, you know, er everybody was uh, not thinking about laughing at Black Jeopardy, you know. But then when Black Panther came on, you know, Wak the, he came from the land of Wakanda, the land of the ultimate land of bougie black people. <laughs> you know, <what> I mean? <laughs> he, he don't know the ways of the American black people. He's not accustomed to the ways of the American black people. So what they did was they kind of played off that as us. They played off the na naivete of mm -hmm. him. You know, he, everything here is honorable. Every, all black people got that shit together. No, nah, he quickly learned that out from uh, the opposite <laughs> when he got on Black Jeopardy and had to answer one, one, <laughs> one question or had to hear an answer about credit. This is the reason <laughs> your cable bill is in your grandmama's name. What is to honor her is the foundation of the family. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's, it, what the, what's that guy's Keenan, name? Keenan, yeah, he, he is so great on here, man. His expressions so are amazing. He's so good. He makes this segment as the host, man. I love it. It's really nice. <laughs> it's wrong. <laughs> but it's really nice. What is? Because I'm going to get a car, and I don't need all that on my credit. Ooh. I feel you. I feel you. 
<laughs> but that's the messed up part is that I showed Cynthia this and she didn't watch it before. And when that question came up, she said, oh, man, credit, something about credit. And she was right because every <laughs> black person or a majority of black people know that's what it is. You, they know somebody yeah. who's done that or they heard somebody who's done that. So uh, did you you played it like a game and y'all answered it yeah. right and y'all even high five yeah. each other when you got it right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Over a fucked up answer. Yeah, I credit is bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, I, I'm, I, and again, I'm not saying all black people know this or whatever, but me personally growing up, I've known people who've done that. It's just stereotypes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you know, hell, my mama helped me buy my first car. <laughs> you know, <what> I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a, it. That's the thing about it, man. You get you get a little uneasy, maybe, but. They ain't lying. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. No, and and so that's I guess maybe before we we knew kind of like yeah we laughing at some messed up things about the black community, but yeah it's still funny. But then the movie Black Panther came <laughs> out, and now all of us we all of us black people we just got back from Wakanda. You know we still wearing our dashikis. Mm -hmm. we, we yeah, we're, we're kind of we putting up them X symbols, of, you know, Wakanda forever. You know, we ready to go out there and start volunteering to help the black community. Love it. Yeah, yeah, but we still sitting back laughing at this black woman's <laughs> trade. <laughs> yeah. And here we, but here we are again. Uh, back to the back, back to the square one. Laugh, taking pride in that black foolishness, and that is what that is what my friend was telling me about. Man, he was like, listen, he like, man, you know something. We all finally getting our shit together. We all in a positive state of mind. And all of a sudden, we coming back here and we still making fun of ourselves, thinking that our own trifle, triflelessness, you know, our own laziness, our own, the own inability to be financially stable. You know, we still laughing at all this stuff. Why? Because, well, yeah, you know what? That's what we've been raised on all this time. And I, you know, I, was, I, I was a little hurt, man. I was like, man, I thought you kind of thought better of me than that I, I had to really think about this because i you know I'm, i might be exaggerating a little bit but we did have this whole new frame of mind after black panther came out we were all like things are gonna change man we're gonna be you know we're gonna be better uh, we're gonna have uh, better opinions about ourselves as a whole we're gonna actually see better representation in mm -hmm. movies and television now and uh, this dude saying, yeah, well, that ain't the case from what I see right here. How you feel about this, Oz? Well, again, when I first saw this, too, you know, I was kind of in, in agreement with what you're saying at first. My conspiracy mind went to, OK, see, they try to dumb down the character and take away the importance of the culture. And, then, you know, but then I started watching it. I was like, man, well, calm my ass down. It ain't that deep, man. It's, not, <laughs> it's really not that deep. Um, like I said, I remember hearing this when I was younger. I don't see that moving forward now. The, the people that I deal with and who I talk to, black folks, they don't have this problem. They're not doing their people. Mm -hmm. I know they have good credit. You know what I mean? It's just something that we used to see when I was growing up back in the day. I don't see that being prevalent as, as much as it is now. Maybe I'm wrong, but the people I deal with, I don't see this being a problem. It's more so of a thing where they're remembering this and they're bringing it to light. And I think uh, um, as far as Black Panther being on there, I think it's a case where uh, Black Panther has been thrusted upon us and he's been catapulted so quickly into pop culture. So they're taking that character and it's like, OK, we could take him and make fun of him because what they're going to make the character. They're still keeping the character respectful, you know, and mm -hmm. they're playing him just like that. You know, a fish out of water, you know, taking him to the ghetto. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, but still keep but still keeping the character the character. So that's a good way to try to, to spin that whole thing yeah, and, uh, yeah. uh, and and still make it funny, yeah. you know, without taking them down that road. So, you know, they they, they played it safe, I thought, and I thought it was funny. It yeah. wasn't a big Wait, how you not you being a uh, orange white person, how do you what do you think about it? <laughs> well, this? I think the effects of Black Panther are gonna be very long term. It feels like uh, short-lived now and very powerful now because it's only been around you know a month or so but mm -hmm. I think the effects that Black Panther will have on the African-American community and media in general are going to be long term it's going to trigger other things that um, you know support black culture in a positive light so we want things to change immediately as far as just like the media and entertainment but that's not reality this is a very fresh thing you know the jokes mm -hmm. the stereotypes that mm -hmm. we've all been subjected to and grown to love and you know 
and you know connect with are now great, but over time, I think it's going to fade away. Yeah, I, and see, that's the thing, man. I mean, it, it made me feel extra bad because I get on here and I do make some of those jokes. You know, I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm above this. I mean, yeah, every time I laughed, I was kind of like, <laughs> you know, I felt a little uneasy. But well, I, thought, I mean, look, look at it this way. You know, uh, like I said, he's been thrust into uh, to a pop, a pop culture, uh, sort of the way what they do with them. I'm not comparing the two, but you know, Jesus. <laughs> Look what they do with that fool all the time. That dude is the butt of a lot of jokes. Yeah, you know what I yeah. mean? And it was a case where it's like, okay, it's it's funny, you know, because because you know, at at that point, you know better than to to, uh, to buy into it. And I think it's a case now, um, black people are thinking are knowing better that you know, the way that we used to be with all these stereotypes are going. I think those though <clears throat> they're repelling those stereotypes now. Mm-hmm. So I don't think. Those things that they're talking about on that black jeopardy as are as prevalent as they used to be. So I can sit back and laugh at that because, like I said, the people I deal with, they're not in those situations. So I can laugh yeah. at it and remember how it used to be for me. Well, you yeah. know something? I had to think about it and I had to say, listen, I ain't going to lose no sleep over this because no. there's a sure. there's, there are these people out there who are now expecting that Black Panther is out 24, hour, 24 hours later. The world has changed, right? And that yeah, ain't, no, and that no, is no. not the case. Just because Black Panther's out doesn't mean that that humor is going to disappear. And as long as we have a self awareness about it, mm-hmm. as long as we're kind of making points with it, then yeah, it's going to be fine. Things ain't going to change overnight. We don't need to be going around pointing <clears throat> fingers at people trying to make them feel guilty about laughing at things just because hey, dude, this word, this word is going out. But I don't know what else to say. Oh, just because you went to a movie and now you woke, right? <laughs> you know. Right. <laughs> Yeah, you weren't thinking about shit until you saw a fictional fucking character from a fictional land in Africa. <laughs> also, <laughs> with com- with comedy, isn't there like a golden rule that everyone just accepts that anything kind of goes? I mean, it, well, it, I mean, the co- co- people get made fun of. The Everybody best comedy will. is the comedy that crosses the line that people are scared to cross, but still makes a point. Right. You know, you're yeah. not doing it just for a cheap laugh. You know, there's something relatable to it. People have been there. It's still a grain of truth in it, and. Right. That is why I think Black Jeopardy works because listen, <laughs> not only is there a grain of truth in this as much as we might or might not like it, but there's it's it's still remaining a little bit smart. Uh, they're still yeah. able to do some so, some social commentary in some of these gags that they have in here. Let's go to Ah Hell Nah for eight hundred. <laughs> <laughs> The names of the categories are gold. I just love, I just love the way he said, nah. I'll hell nah. <laughs> the policeman says there's been some robberies in your neighborhood and asks if you have any information. Our ministers of law enforcement are only here to protect us. It's like bizarro Jeopardy. Bizarro black Jeopardy answer. I love that guy. This man, Keenan, he's about to explode. It's like, not exactly, homeboy. No. Okay. And that was cool. You see how they did that? They put some foolishness, but made it smart at the same time. But they you made know? it smart. They put some commentary in there. So I couldn't be angry at this. Not at all. No, because maybe another audience... White people don't right. get it, but but right, right. We, so you put the camera on me. <laughs> oh, did I put the camera on you? I'm sorry. White people. I'm sorry. Why can't why, every time I say white people? Why do I keep doing that? White people. Oh shit! There it is. This, this hand. Oh, I don't know. The wind's doing it, Corey. The it's, wind's doing it. It's the wind <laughs> making me do that when I say white people. But, <laughs> but the thing is, uh, we all know that for the right audience. You don't trust the cops. <laughs> Everybody say, hey, Officer Friendly's just here to help. No. <laughs> Chances are you're going to tell the cops, and that's just going to backfire on you somehow. At least some people believe that in certain environments. You know what I'm saying? There is a oh. hint of truth to that. You know, I, I, hey, need I say why or need I say more? We know. Uh, and also, again, some of the things in here that might seem <laughs> like they're making fun of us, it's true. This yeah. whole thing that they talk about in here with these containers. Yes. The black Jeopardy winner will receive used to hold margarine. Versatile plastic containers that used to hold margarine. <laughs> Whatever you want. <laughs> My it's mother, so my mother does it, man. Yes, my mother-in-law and my mom do this. The same country crock tin. There's a bunch of sauce in there and chicken. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the same thing. 
Yeah, my <laughs> mother. I'm sorry, y'all. My mother's well off. I come from a middle yeah. class. I come from a middle class family, but we don't buy containers. You know? yeah. <laughs> we don't even have dishes no more. <laughs> That's a cereal bowl. <laughs> Tupperware. What's but, that? But to, go back to my, but to go back to my point, Corey, you see who you see who who we remember doing it. My mom, your mom. I don't do that. No, no. <laughs> you don't do that either. White people out oh. there. What what what's white people's trash is black people's Tupperware. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Black people are some of the greenest people on this planet. I remember seeing the country cock uh, things in the dishwasher. I'm like, why are you washing this? And he's yeah. like, we're well, reusing it. I'm like, what? Yeah. Black people will recycle shit in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> we, yeah. We, we always have Resourceful. been. Resourceful. We've always been nice to the planet. <laughs> yeah. Shit. You Recycle, know, like, reuse. Yeah. Well, for us, a Tupperware party is dumpster diving. <laughs> you going to throw away the containers? <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> yeah, Hold man. on now. What you going to do with the egg carton? Yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> yeah. Doing that. The shit that white college kids do, white, uh, black families do that all the time. <laughs> I, hey, it might seem cruel. It might seem, you know, a little harsh. But it's true. Eric, does your mother ever do this? TV dinner, and then she uses it again. Yeah. Oh, she does. Okay. Well, I don't know yeah, why we can't get along, man. <laughs> <laughs> those Chinese food plastic containers. I like. It. Yeah, I like the way he stepped it up. Like we use this shit for containers. Like, no, nah, my mama take TV dinner trays and just uses that shit as dishes again. <laughs> you know, she reserves food <laughs> on it. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that, goddamn. Ain't they? Ain't nothing wrong with that. I feel so much closer to you, Eric. Now. <laughs> My brother in ghettoness. How you doing? <laughs> oh, uh, but you know something? If nothing else, man, the thing I can say about Black Jeopardy is that as far as uh, as far as what they do uh, on, on that show, I mean, or with that sketch, that sketch mm. works because, and let me see if I actually put it up here. I love that sketch because that's the one where they actually know, they actually know how to end it. One of the yeah. biggest problems with Saturday Night Live is that they don't know how to end a sketch. Black Jeopardy always ends on a great gag, like the one where King T'Challa, Black Panther right here. Of course, the lead up to this is him. Oh, yes, now I finally get you with American black people. <laughs> your friend Karen brings her potato salad to your cookout. I sense that this white woman does not season her food. That's right. <laughs> You know, and, and that's the thing. Everybody gets made fun of there. Boy, the mm. thing I love is that uh, uh, Chadwick Boseman, he's looking hard at them cue cards. <laughs> the whole time he's been looking like this. <laughs> he ain't blink looking at them words from that cue card. <laughs> but, yeah, man, I love it. I love this segment here. And, I, and, I, and I, you know, I, I got guilt tripped about it for a little while, but I think there's nothing wrong with it. I think it's a nah. lot smarter than people get on. Just because you got a Black Panther, don't start hating on things all of a sudden because you about the movement now. <laughs> you know yeah, I agree. Yeah. Looking through, looking through them doshiki colored glasses. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sounded like a brother that just got out of jail. You do not understand, my brother. How these sketches are bringing the race down. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know? man. Now, bye, bean pie. No, man, get the fuck out of here with that. <laughs> oh, oh, man. I, I hear oh. him, but, you know, it, things take time. No, I get it, too. I get it. No, he, my friend made, made a good point. But let's, let's meet halfway. Let's not start condemning other people for these things. Yeah. You know, yeah. Let's, 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 exactly. you know, like I said, things don't change overnight. And, you know, let's give credit where credit is due with some of these things here. That's all I'm saying. Plus, they flipped it on white people oh. at the end anyway, so. Yeah, y'all can't season shit at all. <laughs> <laughs> So oh, make, do you want to hear yeah. about my justice being served about Black Panther? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. White people, y'all make Tabasco sauce taste like water. <laughs> you know, yeah. like, Say whatever you want. How'd y'all do this? This shit was in the bottle. How'd you do this? <laughs> we deserve all the criticism you can give us. Yeah. Y'all are like reverse Jesus. I'm going to turn <laughs> sauce into water. <laughs> well, fuck you do this. <laughs> <laughs> you like, no, my mama does that too. 